Hello, I'm Dr. Connor Justus, Director of Technology Strategy at PGE. We're always looking for innovative power sources. So when a customer asked us if electric eels could power our house, we decided to look into it. Electric eels are capable of generating electric shocks up to 600 volts, but the shock producing organs inside the electric eel only generate that power for about 1 500th of a second. That's not even enough time to light up the filament in one of those old fashioned light bulbs. So to power an entire house, we're gonna need quite a few of them. Turns out you need about 200 eels, each five feet long, and an aquarium at least the size of your house to make it work. But that's not the only thing holding eels back from powering your home. The energy eels use to power their bodies has to come from somewhere, a food source. So you'll have to factor in the cost of feeding them. I did some research and found that wholesale mackerel would be the cheapest option. Also, you're gonna have to find a way to train the eels to produce electricity on demand. And all that work is gonna make them tired. So either you have to go without power while they're on a break, or your eels will have to work in shifts. Once we add in the cost of maintaining the tank, the last step would be to create some kind of conversion and storage device to allow the new system to work with your home's existing electric system. And voila, the electric eel powered home. So while it would, theoretically, be possible to power your home using electric eels, it would be very time consuming, expensive, and require a whole lot of space, equipment, water, and mackerel. At PGU, we pride ourselves on a diverse generation mix, but it also has to be cost effective and efficient for customers. So for now, it looks like electric eels won't make the cut. In the meantime, we'll continue to use a mix of renewables and other sources like natural gas and hydro to power Oregon with reliable energy at an affordable price. But we're always looking for the next innovation to serve you better, so keep those ideas and questions coming.